Supernatural, Season 2, Episode 8, titled Crossroad Blues. Time to press play. Hello, welcome to Asha Media TV. My name is Asha, and if you're new here, welcome. This is where I like to watch and react and review a variety of stuff related to sci-fi, fantasy, and comic books. So in today's video, I'm going to be catching up with the eighth episode from the second season of Supernatural titled Crossroad Blues. However, before I get to pressing play on this episode, I just want to cover some basic stuff, especially if you're new to my channel. So stick around for a little bit. Don't skip ahead. Number one, just in case you missed it in the title, there will be spoilers related to Supernatural up until this episode, of course. So spoilers ahead, spoilers ahead, you have been warned. And number two, it's possible that you've come across other videos on my channel where I was showing video footage and clips from the episode. However, I no longer upload those kinds of reactions here on YouTube. Instead, I offer a watch along experience. So you have to get access to the episode on your end. I have it on my end. We sync up together using my visual and vocal cues that I provide for you. And we check out the episode together, so to speak. But I am considerate of those of you that prefer a more stress free experience in watching me react to episodes of this series. So information on how to access an alternate version to this reaction is in the description box below. Okay, so the basics have been covered with the newbies, and for those of you returning to my channel for some more of my reaction, let's get to watching episode 8. Let's do it. Hello again. So before I get to pressing play on this uh, episode, if you are new with this watch along experience, let me just quickly give you an overview what to expect. So I am streaming episodes of SPN from Amazon video. I skip the recap now. Okay. I, I, before I wasn't doing it, but now I do it and I will let you know where I've lined up at. So you'll see a visual cue on the screen when I'm pressing play, pause or rewind. And I tend to pause for three reasons. Number one, buffering issues, lagging issues, which has not not been a problem at all. And number two, I want to rewind back somewhere in the scene or what thereof. And number three, which is quite common with this show, is I want to have a moment of uh, a paused moment to comment on something, you know, especially if it's a mind blowing thing or I have a question or what thereof. Either way, it's my way of connecting with you, my viewer, letting you know what's on my mind, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Um, and also you'll see there a timer that I put in post edit that gives you some idea where I am in the episode should there be any type of issues with you syncing up with me. Now mind you this timer does reset to zero every time I pause and play. However I do put a timestamp for you to kind of do the math and figure it out. It's not that hard. Um, I may be off by one second or two because like I said it's not a live timer but it does give you a good indicator of where I am in the episode should for whatever reason you get lost. Sounds easy? It's easy peasy for most people, but if it's not for you, just as a reminder, I do offer an alternate version to this reaction with bonus content and extra perks. Details about that is in the description box below. Free for 30 days, You've got nothing to lose, but I'm just saying, all right, let's go and uh, <laughs> start playing. <laughs> Hello, hello. All right. So I am at 038. That is the mark that I'm at. I'm ready to count down to play. Just going to give you a second to get going. All right. Let's do it. Three, two, one, play. No. Oh. Nineteen thirty-eight. Okay. Well, of course, they're going to include the blues.
Oh shit, is it werewolves? Oh God. Are there werewolves in this episode? Yes! That's scary as fuck, though. I guess it, whatever it was got rid of the dogs. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm, it sounds so gnarly. Okay, the dogs are still there. It is after you! I'm excited to see what it looks like though. Huh? Black dogs. Black dogs, black dogs. So. You know what I think of right away? Hellhounds. Hellhounds? Yeah? Mm. <laughs> of course he'd make light of it. Jealous of that though. Also think of Ghostbusters too. Uh, the first one, not two. Uh, those Zool henhounds. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope we don't see that. That's a good one.
<laughs> they do actually. Well, not all geniuses. Guess it's relative anyway. And they're real. <laughs> My space. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> wow, I cannot wait till the episode where they get to Facebook. Very suspicious, isn't it? So these black dogs come to collect. I hope we see, I want to see what they look like. I hope it's practical effects. Mm -hmm. Is that how they look? They're gonna like manifest through people? Mm. I wanna see big black dogs with glowy red eyes and fiery breath or something. Summoning trees? <laughs> Crossroads Blues. It literally is that. Okay. Is that common to just bury shit like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to see some.
Show it. Show it. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> That's cool, though. Very gory, but cool. Rosedale, Mississippi, 1930. Okay. Oh, okay. So they're showing each person's deal. So somebody has to give them instructions to do that. Who's this chick? Oh, not. Ooh, red eye demon. In white. We just kiss on it. Okay. Well, at least it's not painful. And they make themselves attractive. Can't complain there. And now all of a sudden he's just really good at it. Yeah. So each one went there in the middle and... Okay. Is the name of the artist real? MTV Cribs. I like that show. Oh gosh, what did he ask for? So he's been surviving with the pepper at his door? Does pepper do anything? Even though Dean says it's the wrong one. Go for dust. <laughs> this, yeah, good point. Why is it called? Goofer dust. Mm, I'm sure it will.
Oh, that sucks, huh? Demons chasing you for nothing. So they all made a pact at the same time? Well, at least he's taking responsibility for it. Hmm. Oh my gosh, the sound effect is awesome. It's frightening already. Gosh. <laughs> Death by hellhounds. Mm. Nope, he knows this time is up. gets me screaming like this. I swear I'm not that jumpy. Catch. The novel idea of just using the handle.
What's the plan, though? Really? He asked for a wife? But like... Would it be real love in that case, or is it like a compelled human or something? Oh, her life. Like daddy did. back there there Dean now they're gonna have an argument you're mad about dad yada 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 here we go Mm, okay. Yeah. But he did make one of those deals. Yeah. Okay, he has to... It's almost like a genie summoning, you know? Just not a genie. When you only get one wish. Oh, and it's always a woman, a pretty woman. Yeah, I was literally going to say, don't they know them? DNS. Edible, indeed.
That's a lot of dust in that tiny little pouch. A complete stranger. Ah, uh, and he gets his confirmation. So is he really gonna try to so uh oh. Why did he make it look so obvious? <laughs> Sam's like, I'm stepping in with you. Oh. She's just hammering the nail, isn't she? She lying though? Just to torture him some more? So, if they just stay in the circle and don't move, the hounds will just come and go. Oh my gosh, through the vents? So they're invisible to the naked eye. What's the cost, though? Is he going to do it? Is this how we get his father back?
Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm actually kind of surprised that uh Hmm. It's going to be like right at the last second. And then that smoke or demon smoke is going to come out of her mouth and Wow, they really hate the ride to hell, huh? Whoa. Don't make the same mistake twice. What just happened? Okay. Um All right, let me let this episode finish.
Thanks for asking, Sam, because that's what I'm thinking. I think he was considering it. I mean, why would he not? Uh, Dean's way of communicating. Soon? Ooh! I know that actress. Ginger snaps. Oh, okay. So this is different. Um, I didn't expect that. Uh, so I'm assuming that's like a, a mid season. Maybe they, was it like a, like a mid-season break and then they had like previews and they throw it in like this uh, on the streaming service hmm I'm excited so we're gonna see an episode where there's a virus and uh, more yellow eye demon that's a, a whatever predictable but then I'll find out what uh, John told uh, Dean cool 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 all right ah, that totally threw me off now I'm just like what, what was I just watching just now? <laughs> to give you some takeaways? All right, coming up. Hmm. All right, so I got to keep this review takeaway short and sweet because I kind of am on a time crunch uh, as I'm recording this, unfortunately. But I will do my best to right now um, really bring up the three main things from this episode that for sure stands out to me that makes this episode memorable. Number one, for sure, that whole moment, was Dean going to make a deal with the devil or with the demon to get his dad back? I really was kind of like, that'd be an interesting way to bring back John and then perhaps keep it a secret. And uh, no one knows that he would have 10 years to live. And then he goes to, then he, you know, they come and get him. That would have been a really interesting twist. But obviously they didn't do that. But I want to deny that I am kind of like, why didn't he make some kind of deal? Considering the fact, you know, they let me as a viewer to see how obsessed he was about this whole idea of his father sacrificing himself, selling his soul and all that. So I hope you can empathize just a tiny bit with my disappointment that it didn't really pan out in any shape or form uh, of any kind of deal. But of course, it makes sense that given the opportunity you know, some sense kicked in. He's like, no, that's not the best way to go about it because he'd be pretty much doing the same thing he resents his father for doing in the first place, right? The second takeaway from this episode is I really did enjoy how they showed that everybody had different motivations as to why they were wishing for whatever they were wishing and that some wishes, as we find out with Evan, had a noble purpose and I like how it gave me as a viewer the inside scoop into Dean's kind of thought process a little bit that I hope I'm interpreting right. It seems as if in that moment, Dean understood that not everyone's going to be making a deal like this with demons for selfish purposes. They'll do it for reasons like love, which is the reason why his father, that I'm interpreting anyway, why John did that is because even as Sam says it, he wanted them to carry on. Before he lets his son die, of course, as a father, a father that loves his son, he would rather suffer an eternity in hell than Dean losing his life. And my last takeaway from this episode is being introduced to now a red-eyed demon. And thank you to one of my subscribers here on my channel that gave me a 411, uh, non-spoiler 411, about the fact that demons, um, they're recognized 
uh, by their uh, the color of their eyes, right? The color of their eyes tells me as a viewer the type of demon they are and perhaps the power set or the rank they're at, they're at in the demon world, so to speak, or in, in hell. Knowing that tidbit really helped me appreciate even more to see, okay, hey, here's a new type of demon. This one has red eyes. And so I am curious to see what are the color palettes of demon eyes we're going to be seeing. I've seen the yellow eye and now seen the red eye is the next one. I'm going to say green eyes and then probably be blue eyes and purple eyes. I want to see a whole rainbow of eyes when it comes to these demons. So there you have it. That is my reaction and takeaways from this episode number eight of the second season of Supernatural. And now that I've seen this preview clip of a subsequent episode, I'm assuming it's the next one. It kind of seemed like multiple episodes, but now that I'm thinking back, maybe they're just referring to the next episode. I guess I'll find out. But either way, I'm now super excited to see that there is going to be a point in this season that Dean is going to reveal to Sam what his father whispered in his ear. Because I'll be honest, I actually thought that was something they would probably like reveal in season 15. Like seriously. <laughs> really was like okay this is probably gonna be like a long-term secret that will be like this mind-blowing revelation and I'm just happy to know that that's not gonna be the case so for me it's not a spoiler in fact I'm actually more hyped and more pumped to watch more episodes towards the end of this season so I could just see that moment and I am trusting as many of you have told me um, especially at my club, that it's definitely going to be a reveal that's going to be satisfying and nothing that I, that I could actually predict or expect. And I'm hoping for that. I want to be surprised and delighted <laughs> all at the same time. So overall, if you enjoyed this video, the best way that you can show me is by following those prompts you see there on the right lower corner of your screen. Yes, yes, yes. I know you see it. I know. I know you see it. Follow, follow, follow. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and until episode 9, I'm Asha, tuning out. Peace. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and subscribe. You know you wanna.